why bother raising them? They are my grandchildren, after all. They can't end up like those street rats. And who knows? They may become useful, but this has to be the last one. We can't risk Laura finding out about us. It would ruin our family's affluent name. Do you understand? I know, but fear not, as my wife is kind and foolish. She is completely clueless to these matters, thanks to your smart move. So, we were this heartless man's illegitimate children? And because of his deceit, he was forcing us to live in darkness? I don't want to be locked up and lied to any longer. We needed to escape. From then on, Nora kept her act up and behaved like an angel, which eventually led to us being allowed to study together. And today is the day. Oriana is having a convulsion! We must take her to the hospital as soon as possible! However, the maids called the doctor to come round here instead. No! The plan was to escape when we were taken outside. If the doctor came here, he'd discover that my rashes were painted on and our plan would be disclosed. Okay, plan B. I was still lying on the bed playing the whole role of a patient, while Nora locked the door of the room and went to the bathroom screaming. Help! There's a giant spider in here! As expected, the doctor went to check. The Nora immediately locked him in. Then we quickly took the knotted string made of the fabrics and embroidery class out from under the bed and then escaped through the window. Ah! I got my head between my hands as soon as I landed. I didn't expect it to be so bright outside. It's burning my eyes, Nora! What? There's no time for your hysterics. You'll be done if you're stuck here anyway. Just open your eyes and run! Hurry up! But I'm scared! Huh? Nothing happened. My eyes seemed fine. But no time to celebrate as then I saw... Oh my god. A couple of maids were chasing after me. Nora pulled my hand and ran towards the garden. Fortunately, we were already out of their sight when... Woof! Woof! A huge hound appeared out of nowhere and growled at us. I crouched down in a bush and watched Nora wave the dog closer, and then pat him. What? Magic! The dog suddenly became unusually obedient and led us to a secret place. A dog-sized passageway! I hesitated, but seeing the maids gaining on us, I reluctantly squeezed through it real quick. I can't believe I'm putting my destiny in the hands of this reckless girl. She said we had to get to her grandmother's house right away for help. What are those things running back and forth on the road? Why are they making that loud, annoying noise? Hmm. And why is Nora waving her arms about? Did she want them to stop? Too bad nobody did, as she's no princess. We kept wandering until we saw something which Nora called a truck parked on the roadside. She rushed over, then helped me onto the back of it. Oh, it was full of bananas. I stuffed my mouth full of them to ward off my starvation, while the scenery kept changing. That thing stopped, and we immediately got off before getting caught. I held her tight, frightened of all the people around us. They kept staring at me. And what kind of style was that? They all looked very peculiar. Maybe they were just commoners. Then we used our power to demand a man to take us to Nora's grandma's. Oh, it was exhausting. What? The outside is actually beautiful, sparkling with all those lights. And there are exhibitions of everything in the world, such as food, toys, flowers, and even creatures. Yes, everything. But the most important thing was that my eyes didn't get sore looking at those shiny things at all. Nora's grandma seems kind, but her home is full of the strangest of items. While Nora told her what had happened, I found myself bewitched by the talking black box on the wall. Suddenly, Nora's grandma led us to her far smaller truck and took us to somewhere called the Cops. They all wore these same funny outfits and bombarded us with dozens of confusing questions. And what exactly is an ID card? A few days later, 
There was news that the cops had caught my so-called dad, grandma, and maids also. As predicted, he was a womanizer, so when his lovers asked him to support his children, he was so afraid that his wife would find out that he took these children and locked them away in the castle. They're currently awaiting something called a trial, which Nora says is where bad people get their comeuppance. Whoa! The world outside is so busy! I didn't realize there'd be so many unmasked faces. And that strange talking box still startles me, especially when someone is holding a weapon. Nora says when I've adjusted to my new life a little more, I'll start school with her. And one day I'll even learn how to drive one of those smaller trucks. But firstly, she's teaching me how to dress like other people do. And use this brick to communicate with them. This world is puzzling. But I'm sure with Nora's help, I'll soon find my feet. Even if it's just so I can learn how to reply to my dashing neighbor.